Yeah, the Madison County Commission is drafting an application to send to the state to ask for an exception to the Memorial Preservation Act so this Confederate statue right behind me can be removed. We have both city and county government uh, working in concert with one another uh, to make sure that we have a successful outcome. But Friday morning, Alabama Attorney General Steve Marshall's office emailed me this statement. The Attorney General's office is not commenting on the Madison County Commission's action or resolution this week. The Memorial Preservation Act and the administrative rules of the Committee on Alabama Monument Protection clearly state that waivers cannot be granted. It's why Emily Elam and the Tennessee Valley Progressive Alliance already raised more than $30,000. Alabama can sue any city or county that moves a monument or statue in place for more than 40 years. We don't believe that it should be here at our Center for Justice. We feel like downtown Huntsville and the courthouse should be a place where all feel welcome. Commissioner Jess Henry Malone told me the county still plans on sending its request to the state and believes the monument can legally be removed. Each case that the state committee uh, reviews uh, has its own individual circumstances, and we and we want the opportunity uh, to present to that committee what our individual circumstances are. Elam knows it could be a long road. I think it's a really small first step. I think there are a ton of hills to climb on this road to social justice and equality. I think the fundraiser is a a great indication of where the community is uh, on the position of the statue. The attorney general would not give me a specific answer on what would happen if Madison County did move the monument. Now, the attorney general already filed a lawsuit against Birmingham for tearing down its Confederate statue, and it's also questioning Mobile on why that city removed its monument as well. Reporting live in Huntsville, Casey Albright and Way 31 News. All right, thanks, Casey. We know the desire to remove Confederate monuments isn't limited to Huntsville. Casey just mentioned a couple of those. This week, the University of Alabama actually began removing Confederate plaques from the campus's library building.